Sí, por eso le preguntamos, le preguntamos al periodista que estaba, fue el que estuvo toda la noche con nosotros, el que, eh, que Wander Play, y entonces me dijo, y ahí yo vine. Folks, uh, let's put a reality. Uh, this is Dakito One, and I'm here once again bringing you update on the U.S. Mexico border. So, this is what is happening after the President Joe Biden declares the new rules and regulations. This is what is happening. You know, I was thinking that this is going to stop. And even it has become even worse than before. Because imagine, at first, it was sometimes you get there, a day you see like 100 people, or you see like uh, 50 people. And now it has increased to a day. You get 300 people. You get 250 people just a day. So imagine. for. Uh, 300 people a day, let's say 250 people a day times seven days. And guess what? They have all nationalities. All nationalities, I say. We have the China, we have the Koreans, we have Japanese, we have uh, people from uh, a, uh, all the uh, Indians, we have people from all over. And all these people are there to claim asylum. So after the, after the declaration of the new, new routes of entering to the United States, the number of people has increased, increased to like 20 times. And it's because it's also it's, it's election time. Everybody who want to go to the United States this year want to go as soon as possible. And it's like, what, what is happening? And now, instead of going with the van, they go with buses. The border patrol have to come with buses. The border patrol have to come with a huge number of cars. And this, this, this is only one border. This is only one border. This is only one way, you know, uh, at just uh, California, uh, uh, Jacumba. This is this is only 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 one 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 border. So imagine the other borders. Imagine the other borders. I've seen that now. You know, people are not even passing through Texas again because they, because of the Texas what they have they have they have implemented. Everybody is California, 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 California. Guys, look at this. Look at this. It's not a joke, man. This is not a joke. When you see the normal people here, this is this is this is in the morning. We have people who come in the afternoon, people who come in the evening, and people who come at night around two o'clock. So then when they come. The border patrol have to do their work, take them to right procedures, document them. Now at the border, they have to take a picture of you, register you at the border before they will take you to even detention center. So before you get to detention center, you have everything been done. Your name, everything, your picture, everything is in the system. So the only thing is, you do your fingerprint and uh, other stuffs, then you are there. And so see the number of people here and they have to do all this. When are you going to leave there? I know that they know it's, it's, they were saying that it's their job, so they know what they are doing. Yeah, it's their job. But imagine, there are only two people here. And when you see the number of people there, one is taking the, uh, the uh, taking them to database, 
and the other one is watching around because those over there you don't know who is a bad person or who is a good person it can be that they say it can be that maybe they are a spy over there and you know they have people behind or there are people around them and they are they want to do harm or something to anyone so they have to also be, be protected you know they have to be uh wise enough they have to be uh secured when they are also protecting you guys they have to also be secured yeah so all of them cannot do the same job as they they are all concentrating on you guys other ones supposed to also concentrate concentrate on the others who are also working there yeah so that's why when you get in there they have to search you everything you know make sure you are being saved and also their life are also being saved yeah so man the number of people there i'm amazed i'm surprised the number of people over there and the number of people entering into the united states with a few like a month that they declared this new rules. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Everyone want to go to the United States. Every single person want to go to the United States. Guys, so just watch out. See what is happening. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and let others also see what you are watching or what you are learning. I know that a lot of people also want to learn from you. A lot of people want to, want to see this and also learn something from it. Do you understand? So share with friends, comment, let me know where you're watching me from. I want each and everyone here, just write for me your country where you're watching me from. Please. If it is possible that you can do this for me i'll be very happy for that thank you so much for commenting and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell, bell button anytime i post a video you'll be the first person to watch it so you can see the number of people here is not easy this is right the border it's early in the morning around six o'clock so they have to document them so uh to maybe they are done i know that as they are documenting them they are also you know they are calling cars and other things to come over if this is the where the car will come and pick them up then they will just be there and wait until the the the, the van or the the bus come if not they have to take you all the way from this place to the other side at where the bus can come in and pick you up from there yeah and sometimes they have to walk a long way if they are down they have to walk to the to the north if they are at north they have to walk to the south sometimes east or sometimes west it depends on where you entered yeah so you see the number of people there so this is after the declaration this is this happened just friday this is just friday just friday and this is what happened the number of people so imagine the other days imagine the days ahead and this said it's only 1500 people per day or per week and the number of people even entering per hour it's more than the number that they said so that's why they they are telling people that they should use the cbp app because the cbp app you're going to book an appointment and with the appointment they will tell you to come over or you'll be at the at the uh at the uh at the border and from there they will just get your documentation being done so guys let's see what is happening and this is what you are watching it's not I know it's difficult times, it's challenging hours or challenging days, a lot of things are going on, a whole lot of, you know, good things and bad things are going on, and everyone also wants to uh, secure his life or secure his family, but man, uh, 
we should relax on how we travel. I know that people said, then a lot of people are going to you know, condemn me by saying that because I have traveled. Man, I traveled when I was 14 years old. I started traveling when I was 14 years old. And none of my family members helped me. No one helped me. I know that my family members are watching this video. And I'm saying that no one, none of my family members helped me. My mom didn't even know that I'm traveling. My dad didn't even know that I'm traveling. None of my brothers know that I'm traveling. I traveled all alone at the age of 14 years. So that tells you what I can do, what tells you where I've been, that tells you the places that I've been. You see, they are walking them all the way from this place to another place that's where they're going to pick up the buses because the bus cannot come over here so they have to go there at the main road to wait for the bus over there and man it's not easy we have all nationalities we have the chinese we have the uh the koreans we have the japanese we have we have all nationalities uh, it's only people that are, i haven't seen them over here it's an africans but the rest, we have the Haitis. We have a whole lot of number of people here. And all of them are willing to go to the United States. All of them, their dream is to go to the United States. All of them, their plans is to enter into the United States. That's where they can get a promise. It's, it's, it's their promised land. It's their heaven. Someone will say, heaven on earth. Yeah. It's that American is heaven on earth. Yeah. So for them, they will do everything possible for them to go to the United States. They will do everything possible for them to get into the United States. Yeah. I, I remember someone someone told me that, Dakito, I want to go to the United States. Even if I get to the United States and I don't go to heaven, I'm okay with it. Man, sometimes we have to watch out the things that we say. Yeah, you know, you see this? They are walking. This is, this is, this is amazing. This is mind blowing. The number of people. Man, I've seen a lot of immigrants. I've seen the number of immigrants. I've seen the huge amount of number of immigrants. But this is crazy. This is mind blowing. Man, the people over here is almost almost 300. The number of people here is almost 300. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. You see where they are? Up there. But still, when you watch the down, when you watch behind, the number of people, because they have only two uh, border patrol, one is leading them and one is behind. One is leading them and one is behind. And see the number of people. Yo! Man! This is mind blowing, man! This is mind blowing! Everybody want to enter into the United States before the election time start or before the border, uh, the border closes. And this is not easy, man! This is not easy, man. Look at this. I can't even think far. Look at this. And, and you know, let, let me tell you one thing. Majority are from Asia. Majority are from Asia. They, oh, it's, oh, it's, they have a lot of people from, from uh, Southern America and, and uh, Central America. But majority here are from Asia. China, India, uh, Pakistan, Uzbekistan. So crazy, man. So, so, so mind blowing. I've never seen a huge number of immigrants like this. It's only Panama border, that, uh, Panama first, uh, last camp that I saw, uh, like a huge amount of immigrants. But even that, they have people who have been there for like, uh, a month, a week, two weeks, three days, four days. So they are being grouped, they are being camped over there. 
that place is a camp and this place is not a camp it's like when i come then you meet other people then they'll come and they'll come they'll uh, they'll part up then they'll be parting up they'll be parting up until like the border patrol will come so it's like few hours it's, it's not it's not uh uh they don't gather them from somewhere to it's they are coming on their own so look at all these people were coming on their own and they all came and gathered over there so imagine how th th this thing happened it's like they're having like a like a map that shows them that when you enter this border or when you enter this this route you, you have to go down uh, there are people there, so you're going to meet them. It's, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't think for... I don't know how these things, you know, happen. I don't know. I, I don't know how how this thing happen. Because, you know, in the United States, they have a lot of borders. And, and all the borders, they have different border patrols. But only this, only this place, everybody enters there and they go directly. It's like they know where they are going. It's like they have been there before. So everybody, they just go pass through that route, go that way through down, and you see that they are they are piling up. They'll be piling up. They'll be piling up until the the number increases. Then the border patrol will come. So they are going to be here. This is the main road. This is the main road. So they are going to be here until the van. They they, they bring what uh the the vans. Or they will come with only one bus, then take them through uh, the handcuffing process. Everybody is going to be handcuffed. You can't escape. Everybody is going to be handcuffed. Yeah. So this is United States for you. It it happens to everybody, not only you. Anyone who pass through this place, you get to be handcuffed. Some people, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't. You, if you feel lucky, you don't get handcuffed at the first point. By when they take you to detention center to take you to your final destination, your final det uh, detention center. By the time you go, you're going to go with a handcuff. Yeah, sometimes they put it on your hand and your leg, it tied up with your waist. Sometimes it 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 uh, they will just handcuff you with only your how do you call it? Only only your hand. So that's how it is. You see that they have separated them. You see that they have separated them. This separation, that shows which continent you are coming from and which country you are coming from. So those coming from Asia will be grouped at one place. And those who are coming from uh, Southern America, Central America, who are also going to be on one lane. So. Those at Southern America are, are going to be at the right side. Are they at the right side? And the the, the ones at the left side, these are the Asia, Southern America. Yeah, no, not Southern America. Asia, and you know that's Chinese, uh, uh, Indian. Yeah. So that's what that, that's what I'm seeing. It's, 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 it's very it's it's, it's 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 something like that. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Because I can see the Asians are being grouped. Asians and uh, and the Indians are being grouped at one side, and the Southern America, the Central America, their their continent, uh, the American continent, uh, all American countries are also being grouped at one side. So this all these people are from. Central America. So, when you get in there, the first thing that you have, you, uh, they are going to tell you to do is remove your lace, your lace that is in your shoes. You have to remove everything. You have to remove your belt. Everything. So, if your 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 pants are being loose, man, you have to make sure you're going to walk home naked. Yeah. So. You have to make sure you remove your pants, especially even if you're having uh, your, your 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 trouser. You have some uh, lane on it. You have to you know remove that line, everything.
yeah or you have a trade or something we have to remove that everything yeah so this is exactly what is happening let's see let's watch out yeah here so a lot of people you know when they are coming they are using like they have been on the road for like three days four days one week they are using the same dress so when they get here they are about to take a car or so they are going to you know dress up nicely you know you know they are going to change their dresses yeah for them to look nice and neat and smell good because some almost three days haven't taken a bath yeah it happened to me I went through the same process so I know what I'm talking about I know what's up man Yeah, so the van, I've seen a van has come in. So they are going to gather them, the men who go, and then the ladies will continue. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's a process, you know. It's, it's a long process. I'm just trying to explain to you what I went through. And because what I went through is the same process that they do all the time. Yeah, it's not that... It changes or something. It's the same process. It's the same process. What I went through, that's exactly what it goes on all the time. Yeah, so, guys, that is it. That is it. And it's not something that is uh, difficult or something. It's, it's, it's normal. Let's see what is happening and what the conversation that is going on. Yeah, some police of uh, border patrol officers are nice. They will talk to you. They will calm you down. They will explain things to you better if you don't even understand English. If you don't speak English, they will explain to you to the to, to, to the standard you are going to understand what they are saying. is there the van okay the van is is gone and yeah okay the van is there the van is there the van is there so the van is here he's just trying to put things in order then try to you know take them through the process and take them inside the van so that is it ah it's the same process it's not anything that is uh, dangerous or something. But guys, travel wisely. I say, as I always say, travel wisely. You know, travel wisely. I know that is it's, it's difficult. It's very challenging. It's difficult time. You know, but you have to travel wisely. You don't, you know, just move into United States because everybody is going to United States because you wish uh, you know that you, United States is having an opportunities if it's not your time to go to United States you go to United States and they will send you back yeah if it is your time you go to United States and they will allow you to stay everyone have its own luck when it comes to traveling so don't wish someone's luck can be your luck or your luck will be someone's luck now that's not how it, it, it works
So this is an inspection time. Everyone's supposed to go through the same process. They have to uh, inspect you to get to know that you have no uh, knife or you have no drug, you have no uh, gun or something with you. So you have to go through the same process. You have to go through uh, to see that you are you are harmless. Yeah. Get the rest of the line? No, not yet. Oh. Hey, the other ones are 20 minutes out. Yeah. So the first of the year? Uh, I think it's starting over there. It's not a day, but it's still ready to go. Yeah, we're already intake, already oh. set for the. Cool, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah it's just kind of being searched. Yeah. So he's counting them to get you know the number of to get the number of people that they can you know they will be able to enter into the van. He will get like the number that he uh, he want. Then the number of seat that is in the car or in the van. Then he then pick them up. Follow me. Let's go to the van. Yeah. Then from there he's going to hang off each and every one. So they will hang off uh, two people together. Then. It depends on how many handcuff you have. If you have enough handcuff, everybody will get one handcuff. If not, then two people will get one handcuff. Then they'll try to put it through. So let's see what is happening. Bag, you know? Seven, or a yellow bag, you know? 
Yeah, it's showing the Texas number, but it's not. It, this is not Texas. This is California, uh, Jacumba. So it's just showing the Texas that they are from Texas, that they came to you know help. But they are not from Texas. Uh, uh, the immigrants are not in Texas. They are in California. Just stand over here, please. Okay, two here. One, one person only. Just one. It's because it's three sheets. One, three. All right. Let me open this for you. Just for uh, just for one hour, right? Two of you, great transport to the very back. You first to the very back, please. Two, two more. Uh, to the very back. Atrás, atrás, por favor. Dos más, por favor. Two over there, please. Just one. So they are arranging nest badge for them to go. Yeah, so the nest badge are being arranged. And it's like all of them are from Asia. You can see their faces. It's the one from Asia. Yeah. So guys, subscribe and share. Let others also watch. And please comment and let me know where you're watching me from. Inspection is still going on. Inspection is ongoing. You know, you have to be inspected before they will go. They will inspect you, they prepare them for ready for the next bus or for the next uh, car that will come. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Now it's time for the ladies for them to move. So the ladies at the next badge. I know that the first badge is gone, second badge is the ladies that are about to go. But the number of people still behind need a bus, not van. And Jesse, they'll be able to get them all by van. I know that van cannot take all of them. Then if it is a van, I think more than like 10 of van have to come over to pick them up. 10 or more yeah but i know that we'll, a bus is going to come over because the number of people behind us, yeah and so amazing so amazing to do i'm today i'm so amazed to see a lot of people like this all of them on their way going to the united states and that is mind-blowing yes mind-blowing so that's your the your your your, your name tag your name tag is this number that you are seeing you know, will be a number for life this is going to be your name this is going to be your everything you call it a number your a number will be your everything wherever you are going if they are going to call you they are not going to call your name they will call you a number so you have to grab this number into your head like uh chew and pull you have to just grab this number put it in your mind because when they come to call you they are not going to call your name hey Samuel no 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 they'll call you a number if you don't hear your name you are lost then they have to do whatever they want to do so you have to be very attentive very uh, respective to the everything that they are going to say obedience calm respectful yeah they are very cool people sometimes you meet cool people sometimes you meet high 
hardship people, but it's all part of life, man. It's all good, life challenging, you know. So it's not any time that we can complain. Sometimes we don't have to complain. We have to just uh, go ahead and go, move ahead. And, you know, do our uh, whatever you are you are obeyed or you are told to do because you enter the country illegal. So it means you are a criminal to enter the country. So we have to come down, respect and obey the rules and regulation in the country. That is all. So guys, that's what you are seeing. One thing, one thing that is interesting, you see, these are the organizations, the NGOs, they came to give them food and water. Do you understand? And now, whatever they, they eat, they throw them away, they have to, all the trash over there to make sure the place is clean and neat for nice people. And they do this every single day. That's what they do. Who pays them? No one pays them but they have a heart to do. They have the heart to help people. You see, this is the bus. I told you the bus is going to come over because the number of people there is not for van, it's for bus. So obviously the bus have to come over. Obviously, bus have to come over. So that's why the bus is here. You can see, this bus at least can take everyone there. This bus is taking like, uh, I said 200 and something, 240 people. It shows, it's still showing as Texas, but they are not in Texas. This is California, Tijuana. Uh, oh, I think this is an, uh, private, uh, it's a private uh, organization. It's a private organization. This is not Border Patrol. Border Patrol, their, their, their tag is different. This one, their tag is yellow. If you see any yellow tag, it's, a, it's not a border control. You see the yellow tag, it's not a border control. It's different NGO. Yeah, it's different NGO. It's not an NGO organization. Uh, it's a private company. Yes, a private company. It's a private company. Yeah. In in United States, even they have prisons that are, uh, are private uh, company. They have uh, detention center that are private company. Yeah, so in, in, in there, everything is possible. Everything is, is, is in the hand, you know, of those who have the cash. Yeah, so that's it. So this is where they are going to put their bags. You can see the handcuffs. They are bringing out the handcuffs. Everybody there. Everybody. Everybody, including me. I'm going to be handcuffed as well. Yeah, so we are all going to the detention center. And guys, let's go. Let's see what they're saying.
So you can see all of them are gone. All of them are gone. I left foot a few uh, people over there, but the majority are gone. So the bus is full. The bus is full. But they have 
people know about it. And so people soon go to join them because there's more space in the bus. There's more space in the bus, so they're going to you know, hunk off the rest of them and put them in the van. The rest will put them in, uh, get in, they'll get in the van and they'll go. So let's go and see what they are saying or what is going on. So guys, that let you see, oh, that's what you are saying. I'll see you guys later in my next video, in my next update at the border crisis at the United States-Mexico border. Adios. I'll see you guys later. Adios. Bye-bye.